clavicle is otherwise called as collar bone okay clavicle is otherwise known as collar bone okay okay fine so let's talk about the peculiar features of the clavicle bone first okay peculiar features are special features of clavicle bone okay so let's discuss the important peculiar features okay so i hope you will be knowing clavicle is a modified long bone okay it is not a typical long bone it is a modified long bone why it is a modified long bone yes because it is the only long bone in our body which lies horizontally okay all the long bones in our body they are longitudinally placed okay the only long bone which lies horizontally is clavicle okay fine and you will be knowing the clavicle bone has no medullary cavity it has no medullary cavity okay fine and the peculiar feature of the clavicle another peculiar feature is the entire length of the clavicle bone is subcutaneous you can easily feel palpate the clavicle bone okay so the clavicle bone is entirely subcutaneous that means you can easily palpate the entire length of the clavicle bone okay fine and regarding the ossification of the clavicle bone remember some peculiar features it is the first bone to start ossify in our body clavicle is the first bone to start ossify in our body okay and actually it is the last bone to complete ossification okay i told you it is the first bone to start ossification as well as it is the last bone to complete ossification okay fine and remember the clavicle bone ossifies mainly from membrane and partly from cartilage that means it ossifies from membrane as well as cartilage that is called as membrano cartilaginous ossification membrano cartilaginous ossification but please remember it is mainly membranous ossification mainly membranous ossification okay mainly membranous ossification and also remember the clavicle has two primary centers of ossification okay it has two primary centers of ossification okay so these are some of the peculiar features of the clavicle bone okay fine so now followed by the peculiar features of clavicle bone let's discuss the parts of the clavicle bone okay parts of clavicle bone so remember the clavicle bone has two ends it has two ends and shaft fine so in this diagram actually we are seeing the superior view of the clavicle okay this is the superior view of clavicle bone and the orientation for this image is medial this is medial side this is lateral side this is anterior this is posterior okay fine so obviously this is the medial end of the clavicle bone fine obviously this is the lateral end of the clavicle bone fine okay remember in between the two ends medial end and lateral end this whole area is called as shaft of the clavicle okay shaft and you can see the shaft can be divided into medial two third and lateral one third okay the shaft can be divided into medial two third of the shaft and the lateral one third of the shaft okay fine so what are the two ends of the clavicle we have studied yes it is medial end and lateral end okay and remember the medial end of clavicle is otherwise known as sternal end of clavicle okay because it articulates with the sternum bone and the lateral end of the clavicle is otherwise called as acromial end of the clavicle acromial end of the clavicle okay because it articulates with the acromion process of scapula bone fine right? 
and please remember what is the nature of the medial end of clavicle yes the medial end of the clavicle the area i am highlighting the medial end of the clavicle is rounded or you can say it is quadrilateral whatever and the lateral end of the clavicle is flattened it is flattened okay so this is one important identification point for the side determination of the clavicle okay so the medial end is rounded whereas the lateral end is flattened okay and can you tell me the nature of the shaft of clavicle you know the shaft of clavicle is divided into medial two third and lateral one third as shown in the diagram the medial two third of the clavicle is convex you can see clearly in the image it is convex anteriorly okay anteriorly it is convex what about the lateral one third of the clavicle yes the lateral one third of the clavicle is concave anteriorly concave anteriorly i hope you are clear isn't it the medial two third of the shaft is convex anteriorly whereas lateral one third of the clavicle is concave anteriorly right yes now see this image actually this is the inferior view of the clavicle you are seeing the clavicle bone from below from below inferior view of clavicle okay so again the orientation for this image is medial lateral anterior and posterior fine so see here are you able to see on the on the inferior aspect of the clavicle there will be one depression the area i am marking now okay okay the inferior surface of the clavicle okay at the middle one third at the middle part or middle one third of the inferior surface there is one depression what is the name of the depression yes it is called as groove for subclavius groove for subclavius groove for, groove means depression okay so what is the location of the groove for subclavius yes the groove for subclavius is located on the inferior surface of the clavicle bone at the middle one third middle one third fine and see here the lateral aspect of the clavicle bone contains two elevations okay one is called as conoid conoid tubercle tubercle means elevation and another elevation just lateral lateral to the conoid tubercle is called as trapezoid ridge trapezoid ridge so tubercle ridge both are representing the elevations elevations fine okay fine so now by the things we have discussed so far i think you can easily determine the side of the clavicle bone okay if the clavicle bone is given to you i think you can easily determine the clavicle whether it is right side clavicle or left side clavicle okay so what is the anatomical position yes you have to hold the clavicle bone okay in horizontal position okay hold the clavicle horizontally okay because it is the bone which is located horizontally in our body okay so hold the clavicle bone in such a way okay after uh, holding horizontally you know medial end okay medial end is flattened okay the medial end is sorry sorry the medial end is rounded which is always called the sternal end and lateral end is flattened isn't it it is flattened so this is one important identification point for the side determination of the clavicle medial end is rounded lateral end is flattened okay and some other features are there which will help us to determine the side for example i told you regarding the shaft okay by looking at the shaft you can easily decide which is medial which is lateral the medial two third of the shaft as we know it is convex anteriorly isn't it and what about lateral one third of the shaft yes it is concave anteriorly concave anteriorly and one more important point for side determination is okay the superior surface of the 
clavicle is smooth actually okay superior surface is smooth what about the inferior surface yes just now we have studied the inferior surface of the clavicle at the middle one third middle part or middle one third contains the depression called as groove for subclavius groove for subclavius are simply called as subclavian groove whatever okay so these are the various points which will help us to determine the side of the clavicle bone okay so now can you tell me in this clavicle bone in the given clavicle bone is belonging to right side or left side yes actually this is the clavicle of the right side this is the right clavicle bone okay this is the right clavicle bone okay the superior view and the inferior view of the right clavicle bone i hope you are clear how to determine the side of the clavicle bone okay and this diagram i have taken to show you the two joints formed by the clavicle bone okay actually you know this is the medial end of the clavicle bone of both right and left clavicles medial end isn't it and right now i am marking the lateral end of the clavicle bones lateral end of the clavicle bones okay and here clavicle bones are highlighted with red color in red color okay so as you see here clearly this is the this is the acromion process of scapula bone so as we studied already the lateral end of the clavicle okay this is the lateral end of clavicle which articulates with the acromion process of scapula to form which joint acromio clavicular joint so laterally the clavicle forms acromio clavicular joint what about medially yes medially the clavicle articulates with the sternum bone this is the sternum bone okay so it articulates with the sternum bone to form which joint sterno clavicular joint okay so i hope you are clear about the two joints formed by the clavicle bones fine yes now let's talk about the attachments of the clavicle bone okay clavicle bone attachments okay fine so this is again right clavicle superior view only okay so this is medial end of clavicle this is lateral end of clavicle all these things you know you will be knowing okay and anterior posterior orientation also you will be having isn't it anterior posterior medial lateral so please remember the anterior aspect of medial two third of the clavicle okay anterior aspect of the medial two third of the clavicle gives origin to which muscle yes origin to pectoralis major muscle specifically it is clavicular head of pectoralis major muscle okay whereas the same area that is medial part of the clavicle superiorly it gives origin to sternocleidomastoid muscle origin to sternocleidomastoid muscle fine right? specifically clavicular head of sternocleidomastoid muscle okay and what about this area yes this is the lateral one third of the clavicle isn't it lateral one third of the clavicle which border anterior border anterior border of lateral one third of clavicle isn't it and this particular area gives origin to deltoid muscle origin to deltoid muscle fine whereas the posterior border of lateral one third of clavicle posterior border gives insertion not origin insertion to trapezius muscle trapezius muscle fine so take care of the muscles which are attached to the various parts of the clavicle bone and see this is the inferior view of clavicle you know okay so the inferior aspect or inferior surface of the clavicle bone as we studied already at the middle part there is one groove for groove called as groove for subclavius why it is called as groove for subclavius yes obviously it gives insertion to which muscle it gives insertion to subclavius muscle one small muscle 
it is located just below the clavicle bone so obviously it is called a subclavius muscle okay insertion to subclavius okay so i hope you are clear about the various muscles attached to the clavicle bone okay pectoralis major sternocleidomastoid muscle deltoid muscle trapezius muscle and another one is subclavius muscle these are the five five okay these are the five important muscles attached to the clavicle five important muscles attached to the clavicle okay three muscles are getting origin and two muscles are getting inserted okay so these two diagrams i have taken just for your practice okay so this is the pectoralis major origin this is the origin of sternocleidomastoid muscle this is the site of origin of deltoid muscle and this is the site of insertion of trapezius muscle okay and inferior surface of the clavicle gives insertion to subclavius muscle as we studied okay fine other than the five important muscles attached to the clavicle bone remember the two important ligaments attached to the clavicle other than five muscles two important ligaments attached okay so this is medial side this is lateral side so medially the clavicle bone gives attachment to one ligament called as costo costo means rib okay because this ligament will attach it to the clavicle and clavicle and first rib so it is called as costo clavicular ligament fine and these two green colors are representing one ligament which is extending from clavicle to the coracoid process of scapula bone so called as coraco clavicular ligament coraco clavicular ligament okay fine and this coraco clavicular ligament has two parts according to the site of attachment one is called as conoid part okay and another one is called as trapezoid part which are attached to the conoid tubercle and trapezoid ridge of clavicle bone fine and finally let me talk about the applied aspect of the clavicle bone or clinical correlation of the clavicle bone okay just one thing i want you to remember okay clavicle is the most commonly fractured bone in our body okay clavicle is the most commonly fractured bone in our body okay and what is the most common site of fracture of clavicle bone yes the most common site of fracture of clavicle bone is junction between medial 2/3 and lateral 1/3 of the shaft okay the junction between medial 2/3 and lateral 1/3 of the shaft that is the most common site of fracture okay and you will be knowing the reason because the junction between these two parts of the shaft is the weakest part of the clavicle okay it is the weakest part weakest part of clavicle okay so that is the reason it is the most common site of fracture okay so that's the end of our clavicle bone discussion thank you all